What's good ladies and gentlemen, today we have a special box from the vault and once I open this up, I'm going to explain to you what, these, what this is for. Let's open up this box, I don't want to keep you guys waiting. The box has been officially opened. No oh, wait, I'm just kidding, not yet. <sighs> Look what they sent us. First up, we got a District Lewis Crampton deck. Next up, we have an Apex deck. They included Walter packed this for us. Shout out to Walter Perez for sending us this. A Root Air Fork, right here. Down here we have a Root SES. Fell out of the packaging, but we got a Root SES right here. And last but not least, we got more Walter stickers. You guys are probably sitting at the edge of your seat being like, Well, and Clayton, don't you guys ride for the scooter farm? And, and why is the Volt sending you packages? Well, we are doing custom builds, but we're going to do our custom builds a little bit differently. We're going to be painting these parts, and you guys will be able to buy them as completes off of the Volt's website. We'll get into that a little bit later into the video, but for now, I'm going to show you parts that we got. Right here, we have the Lewis Crampton District deck. This is 22.5 by 5.1 wide, and it looks fabulous. This is the deck that I ride myself, um, so I thought it was only necessary to use this deck for my custom build because this custom build is a scooter reflecting me, and this is the deck that I ride, so that's what I got. Hello everyone, Clayton here. Um, first, we got Scooter Farm X Undialed collab shirt. Uh, looking sexy. Wonder how you can get this. March 25th, it'll be on our website, free shipping. We only have a few. The farm has the rest, so make sure you cop them. And if you're too late, head over to the farm. Use Undial code Undialed to get 10% off on your whole order. Since Roots decks are not out yet, I decided for my build, I am using this Asex deck. Asexual deck. Asexual deck. It reproduces by itself. It does. All right, so I got the silver Apex deck. It's the large deck, so it is not the smallest one. I got this amazing Root SCS that I might be painting. Might not. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. And, oh wait. This Root SCS fork, which fits perfectly in here. Boom, boom. We got a scooter. Let's paint it. A little bit dirty, but you know, that's never a bad thing. But if you're painting, you know you never want to have a dirty scoot because it's never going to work. Alright guys, so for my paint job, I'm thinking about doing something pretty similar to one of my favorite scooter decks that I've ever done before. But you guys are just going to have to watch and, and see what I do, because that's more fun. But right here, I got this nice, as you can see, it's like a teal blue. And there's only a little bit left in here, so if I run out, I'm going to put a little, bit of a, a little bit of a darker blue in it. So hopefully I can make the most of this, though. So let's do it. Ooh. Ooh, it actually looks kind of sick with the dark blue contrasting like the light blue. Looks pretty sick, but it's got to all be light blue. And before you guys comment, well, you didn't tape off the headset caps. We've never taped off the headset caps. Well, at least the decks that I've ridden in. I've never noticed it like slowing down the headset or anything, so I'm just gonna leave it. Leave it undone. If anything, I feel like it just keeps the headset in there better. Cause it's kind of like a sticky surface attached to like where the bearing doesn't actually spin. So that's why I didn't tape it. Looking spectacular. Now time to flip it over. Because what would a deck be if we only painted the top? Sorry, Lewis. I always forget to paint right there, but on this deck, I didn't forget. All right, it's looking pretty snazzy so far. Looking pretty spectacular. I must say, I must say it looks good. All right, well, now time to, for Clayton to hand the camera to me. We're gonna see what he does to his deck. Hello everyone. I was gonna do glow in the dark, but our glow in the dark kind of crapped out on us. So instead, 
I'm just gonna get this blue and black and just have a good old time. So let's uh, let's get started. Boom, boom, boom. I think so far it's looking pretty cool. So I kind of like how it looks on the bottom because on top of this I'm gonna hydro dip it. So I guess it, in reality it doesn't really matter what I do, but it's just gonna give it that like background to it after it's hydro dipped and it should look pretty sick, so. All right, okay. I guess it's fine. Whatever. You know, Will, you're right. These decks are beautiful. Tomorrow, in the morning, they're gonna be even, even better. So, we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so right here, we have a beautiful candy pink color. Right now, I'm gonna paint the other half of my Volt deck um, pink. So, let's do it. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Oh, got a deck to the head. All right, what's up guys? So it is the next day. The deck is been has been painted pink. So I'm just gonna say this right now. This is not the final step to the deck. I still have a few more things that I'm gonna do, but you guys are gonna have to wait for the custom build itself to see what I finally did to the deck, like the grip tape and just little, little details here and there. Let's unwrap this. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of what we're working with. I don't know what happened with the paint, but there's kind of like a chemical reaction that happened with like the blue and the pink. So it created this like kind of like textured feel to it. At first I was like, oh no, the deck is ruined. But the more and more I looked at it, I was like, this actually looks kind of sick. And I'm just gonna clear coat it this color because I don't know, I think it turned out cool. I taped a lot of this deck. Like this deck was pretty much covered in tape. So a lot of this deck is still gonna be very, very blue. So I'm, I'm really hyped. And if you guys haven't been able to tell already, I'm literally basing this deck off of pretty much my favorite deck that I ever rode, which is the pink and blue deck. Um, so, I don't know. I'm hyped on it. Should be, should be a good one. Ooh, this is just looking too good. I'm, I'm in love with this blue color. This is, this is probably my favorite color, like, ever. So if you guys want to surprise me with some stuff, make sure it's this color. Oh. Holy shit, man. <laughs> hey, Brad. so good. You look good. Thanks, babe. All right, well, here's the deck. It turned out pretty phenomenal. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit like, so it's a little bit kind of rough in here, but I almost kind of think it looks tight. Like, it just looks, it has some, like, texture to it. It looks, looks pretty snazzy. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to go through and touch up a few things and just make it look a little bit better, but... Yeah, you guys have to wait to see that because the next time I'm gonna see you with this deck will be in this Vault Pro Scooters. So make sure you go watch that video. But anyway, guys, all right, so make sure you guys go pick up your new Undialed Scooter Farm t-shirts. These are sick. Make sure you use code CHICKSDIGSCOOTERS, all one word, and that will give you free shipping on your order. So make sure you go buy this. If they're all sold out, go to thescooterfarm.com, use code Undialed for 10% off and go order that. A few more windbreakers left, so make sure you go see if they, we have your size left and get yourself a windbreaker. Also, we have a few more XL shirts in black and in white, so if you are a big man, then go get yourself an XL shirt. All right, so you know how I just was unwrapping this deck. Well, I lied, and I actually had one more little bit of painting to do. I forgot to paint the inside of here. It was just like this kind of like faded, ugly blue color. So I'm going to peel the ta tape off of this, and y'all are going to see what this looks like. Ooh, ooh. All right, well the inside of this painted now looks, that does look sick. looks super fresh. I'm hyped on that. Something else that I painted is I painted the brake. So it's gonna have a nice pink brake on it like that. And also I painted the dropouts back here. So I'll put these in right now. I'll show you what these look like. They're gonna look sick. You guys can just envision what this is gonna look like. But anyway, when the next time you see this deck, it's going to be in the Volt video. So 
you guys need to watch this because I'm gonna do something really sick with the grip tape up here and y'all aren't even ready so yeah just keep your eyes peeled because there's there's cool stuff happening with this all right so now let's look at Clayton's deck because it's gonna be sick Oh hi! Whoa, we're everything's upside. Oh, oh, we're good. We're good. I thought I was gonna fall for a second, but you know what? We're good. Um, so, this is the final outcome of my deck, and I am honestly really hyped. Um, this is probably one of the best hydro dips I've done. I mean, as normal, it's a little bit gunky right here, but if you're using spray paint, that's gonna happen almost every single time. So, other than that, it looks really bomb. I think I'm actually gonna use clear grip tape for this or something special in my Volt video. So, these shirts are now available on the website. So, if you head to undialed.co, you can use code CHICKSDIGSCOOTERS, boom, and and they're $25. Make sure you cop it, free shipping worldwide, so if you live in Poland, you live in Australia, anything like that, go cop a shirt, guys. We got more windbreakers and all that good stuff, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.